What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and enjoy some Norwegian TikToks! It is time, once again, to take a look at some short, random, fun internet videos all about Norway. And as I like to say, you never quite know what you're gonna get with the Norwegian TikToks, but that's part of the fun. <laughs> and uh, I always seem to learn something new about Norway through the TikTok. So I'm excited to see what we have here today. Starting with, this is Christiansund, Norway. It's like a, a news broadcast. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> hold up, hold up, stop, stop. What? Did this really happen? Did this guy get hit? <laughs> it looked, it looks like someone threw a fish at him. Did someone throw a fish at him? Or did he get, did he get hit with a fish? Like what? <laughs> The way he does it as well is so over dramatic. <laughs> he, he does the perfect. He's like, he's saying, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like falls out of frame. That's good. What is this real? What? I mean, he is by the ocean. <laughs> They're laughing. They are laughing like this is real. <laughs> but I don't get it. It looks like someone threw a fish at him. Like, did, th did somebody throw a fish at him? Or did a fish somehow jump out of the water and hit him? That's insane. <laughs> They're laughing. <laughs> okay. All right. That's uh, interesting. Just a... Uh, Normal Norwegian news broadcast right there. Okay. Uh, how Norwegian people deal with 90% of their problems. <laughs> how Norwegians deal with your problems. How do you? How? Doesn't matter because I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> okay. That's how a lot of us Americans feel as well. Uh, <laughs> do Norwegians not like to address your their problems or do you like to procrastinate or th this seems like a very american thing as well like that's okay i'll just take a nap you know what no no thinking about my problems let's just nap <laughs> i guess norwegians and americans are a little similar about that what is this uh after ski in norway after ski i'm not sure what that means <laughs> what? 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 I don't... I don't... <laughs> is this... Is this some kind of inside joke? I don't understand. Her skis are... <laughs> Her skis are moving on their own. I'm not sure how that's possible. <laughs> I'm not sure why her skis are walking away from her. Is she like trying to chase her skis or is this after you're skiing as well? I, I really don't understand this. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think about what this means. So after you're skiing, your skis start walking away from you. Uh, and and you, you're very tired. I don't get it. I, I don't. I, maybe, maybe Norwegian can explain this one to me. I, I do not understand that at all. <laughs> okay. Interesting. There's a ghost walking in your skis, apparently. Uh, freezing animals in Norway recorded. Negative 50? What? 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 No. What? Is this, is this serious? Is this real? I mean, it looks real. How can, what? Negative 52. That is like very, very cold, but 
I didn't think animals can just freeze in place. Like, what? This is scary. I don't get it. How did they just freeze in place? I mean, how how is this guy recording this on his phone without freezing in place? How's he even recording this? <laughs> how can you even be here if it's negative 52 and everything's freezing? Wouldn't your blood just freeze and then you'd... <laughs> Maybe this got uploaded to the internet just in time as this guy passed away filming this, but I didn't think animals could just freeze in place like that. Like, aren't aren't these animals used to the cold? Aren't they like acclimated to the cold? What like they're they're built to survive cold weather. I can't tell if that's real or not. That's scary if that's real. What? Okay, okay, okay. This is a uh, jail in Norway. <laughs> oh yeah, these are always good. Jail in Norway. <laughs> Until your court date, this is gonna be your state, AKA the jail. Oh, oh, no. I didn't do it, bro. I didn't do that. Follow me. I'm I didn't do Norwegian it. Norwegian jail. <laughs> this, this jail right here? Yes, this is yeah. jail. What do you mean? Since when was there a fountain in a jail? There's always been fountains in jail, but wait. Weren't you saying you weren't the one that did it? Oh, no. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> he, did, he, did, he did it. He did. <laughs> this is so funny. It's so true. I mean, the jails are not this nice. It's not like you're living in a mansion. But, man, compared to the United States, like, Norwegian jails are very, very nice. And I know that's on purpose to treat the prisoners humanely and, and to rehabilitate people, but... It's funny that there's there's Americans that would love to be in Norwegian jail. They'd rather be in Norwegian jail than out in their normal life. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that. Uh, let's keep going. What is this, like uh, skiing or something? What? This is not skiing. What is this? What are these? Oh! <gasps> What? What? Oh! <gasps> this is amazing. What is this? They're like little, uh, they're like little go-karts. Like, <laughs> this is like Mario Kart or something with the music. Um, how come I, we don't have stuff like this in the United States? This is like a sled that you steer? Like a go-kart? Like, what? We don't have this in the United States. This would be awesome. This seems so fun. You can like drive it, like it has a wheel. We should absolutely have this. What do you call this? What? What do you call this in Norway? What? Why? Why did we not have cool stuff? I mean, it's not always a lot of snow here. Um, our winter is pretty mild, but, like, they should offer this where where you can go skiing and snowboarding in America. They should offer this, like, sledding. It's like a little sled go-kart. <laughs> I have never seen that. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, all right, what is this? Nor Norwegians be like, okay. So I've noticed, um, as a Norwegian, okay. we do this specific thing where when we agree with you, we say yes on an intake of breath. Oh. So it looks like this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh? What? <laughs> I have heard about this. I learned about this at some point. I fr on, on another video that I did, I heard about this. I read about it, but I never have heard it before. I heard that Norwegians inhale when saying ya. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I thought Norwegians go ya, 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 ya. I was so over exaggerating. I was so wrong. It's so much more like subtle. It's like ya, ya, ya. How's she doing it? Uh, and um, it's not. Uh... Dangerous. <laughs> my ex-boyfriend used to think my dad had asthma. Yeah. Uh, it's just our way of agreeing with you, supporting what you're saying, uh, and making sure you know we are listening. 
that is so funny because th- she's right. If I heard somebody doing this, I would be worried. I would think that you're having an asthma attack or having trouble breathing. If you're like, because <gasps> because that's just not a noise or breathing that we do in the United States. This is a very Norwegian thing. I need to hear her do it again. So it looks like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's way more subtle than I thought. It, it's very subtle. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's much more gentle than I thought. Okay. So next time you speak to uh, a local troll, a Norwegian, um, and they they do uh, yeah. Don't worry, we're okay. not dying. <laughs> uh, we're merely having a good conversation. Wow, wow! It's actually a wor- It's a word of affirmation. It's a good thing. Oh my god! Okay, that's fantastic. I I totally forgot about that, and I was completely wrong. I thought it was was like yeah yeah. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Whoopsie. Okay, what is this? What is this? So it's, uh, it's like an oil rig or something. Oh my god! Oh my god! This would be terrifying. What is he doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's just laughing. He's just laughing. I guess. I guess this is just normal. Oh my god! Is this what it's like working on a Norwegian oil platform? Oh my god, I guess you gotta be a little crazy <laughs> to, to, to be out there doing that. That's awesome. Oh my god, that, that's kind of scary though. Uh, I guess that's just normal? What is this? Uh, a moose, I think? He's trying to feed the moose. Oh my, I don't know about this. Isn't this dangerous? What if it bit your hand? Oh, this moose is really staring, really staring wide-eyed. Wow. Oh, he doesn't want it. He does not want it. <laughs> That's amazing that you can get this close to a moose. Is this a moose? It doesn't have antlers. Oh my God. Like, yeah, here in the United States, uh, there's not really, there's no moose. Um, and we, we really don't like interact with our wildlife. I was taught it's very dangerous to try to feed animals. Um, do Norwegians like think it's okay to just feed the wild moose? Are are they like chill like that? Eh, it seems pretty calm. He did not appreciate the food. <laughs> I'd be a little scared to do that. I gotta be honest. That's very cool though. Wow. Uh, what is this? on top of like a mountain. This is beautiful. Oh, he's skiing. What? <laughs> uh What? Holy. This looks incredibly dangerous. <laughs> but I have to admit it's awesome. Oh my god, where is this in Norway? Oh my god. This is <laughs> this is what I picture all Norwegians doing. <laughs> this <laughs> this is how I picture Norwegians getting home from school. Looks just like this. <laughs> wow, this is so beautiful. Oh my god. This guy's legit. Wow. Uh yeah, we don't have mountains like this. This is an incredible view. This is an incredible moment. Oh my god, that's pretty awesome. Um, you have to be very, very good at skiing to do that. Oh my god. That is cool. Okay, wow. Uh, this is dialects in Norge? Dialects in Norway. Dialects in Norway. Yeah, okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> I know that there's different dialects in Norway, depending on where you live in Norway. <laughs> is this, is this true? 
So, <laughs> is there like a dialect in Oslo that's very different to the rest of Norway? So, if you're in Oslo, <laughs> you think every other Norwegian sounds like this? <laughs> Everyone else just sounds like gibberish. And <laughs> people in Oslo are just like, huh? <laughs> what? Is it that? Are the dialects that different? Like, really? That extreme? Um, <laughs> maybe everyone else thinks people in Oslo sound weird. Like, you could reverse this the other way, right? <laughs> These freaking... The fact that they're using this freaking goat uh, making that sound. <laughs> uh, kind of cracks me up. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is police in other countries versus police police in Norway. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? What? This is regular. And then Norway? <laughs> is this real to the Norway? <laughs> Are the Norwegian police out there doing uh, TikTok dances and <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Um <laughs> I think Norwegian police I mean, it's very, very different to American police. American police carry guns. American police are not the most friendly. They're very professional. I think Norwegian police are just a lot more normal, like a lot more approachable. I don't think Norwegian police are always doing dances. <laughs> They're not always doing dances, but I think they are a lot more normal people, a lot more friendly, um, a lot less in like mean and they they don't always carry guns right so i think norway probably has a lot better relationship with their police especially if the police are dancing <laughs> doing cool dances that's funny <laughs> okay what is this crazy norwegian mentality crazy norwegian mentality you'll see norwegian billionaires driving around in like a volkswagen or a nissan oh why not something cooler I don't know, like a Ferrari or something. Yeah. Well, the Norwegian and Scandinavian culture has the answer. Ah. Here we like to keep people average. This means less party and less people being looked down at. Oh, yes. This is very, very different. So this is Norway's mentality, Norwegian culture, that you don't want to stick out too much. You want to be, you want to be humble. I think there's a word for this, like Jante, Janteloven. The law of Yante? That has to do with this, right? Like, you don't want to stick out too much. You don't want to seem arrogant or better than anyone. I really, really admire that about Norway. This is so totally opposite of what it's like here in America. Here in America, people will buy fancy cars even if they can't afford it. People will show off, flaunt their wealth and try every everything in, in Americans will do anything to to be unique and to stick out and to to act like they're better than other people. Um, so I really, really mean it when I say the Norwegian mentality is almost the opposite of American mentality. And I really, really admire how Norway does it. It seems a lot healthier of a way to have a society, basically. But it also means that people should not brag too much right. when they have a lot of money. Yeah. It's a bit like people don't want to be too different, so they don't want to show off that they have a lot of money. Follow wow. me for more Norwegian. That's so crazy. That's so, that's so refreshing to hear about. Because in America, it's all about showing off your money, being unique, being different, showing off wealth. That's, that's what matters to a lot of Americans the most. And it's not healthy. It's not healthy. Um, I think Norway actually has it right on there. I, I really do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. What do we have here? Top five places to visit in Norway. Oh, cool. What is this? Where are we going? Ooh, 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 ooh. Bont, Bonthusvatnet? Oh, wow. There, I've never heard of this. I feel like there's so many places in Norway I've just never heard of that are just beautiful. Bontusvatnet. Wow. Oh, 
Look at those mountains. Rhine. Wow! This is like a village built on the water <laughs> with mountains? Islands? Rhine. A fjord, I think? Wow. Uh, Jordanford? Jordanford? This is a fjord I've never heard of. With a waterfall. Wow, look at that guy paddleboarding. This is so freaking cool! Uh, Val... Valvika Beach? Ah, oh, look at this swing. This is like otherworldly. This is like a fantasy world. Oda. I've never heard of any of these places. Oda. The houses are like built on a hill. And they're colorful. Look at that mountain going over it. This is just... Norway is so cool. Like, so different as well. It's literally like another planet to us Americans, I swear. Those five places I have never heard of, but those are awesome. Uh, and finally, we have one more here. This is Norwegian people reading messages via notifications bar, pretending not to be online. <laughs> this is very specific. Norwegians, do you do this? You read messages? What? A <laughs> Hiding behind the wall. <laughs> this is Norwegians just hiding behind the wall. Uh, reading. This is like when you read messages on your cell phone without opening it. Like you just read it on your phone, like as a notification without opening it up. So people can't tell that you're online. And it's like being a cat behind a brick wall. <laughs> This is Norwegians. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, cool. And there we have it. There are the TikToks for today. I enjoyed those. I enjoyed those quite a bit. Those were very, very random. <laughs> like covering a lot of different topics about Norway. And I really actually love that. I, I love how I get to learn about really random different things about Norwegian culture where you, you really don't see in a lot of other places. Like TikTok actually has some <laughs> really interesting and weird information on Norway. And uh, I, I gotta admit, I, I enjoyed these a lot. These were funny, educational, strange, <laughs> and I liked it. Anyway, if you liked this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on any of these Norwegian TikToks or anything I didn't understand, that'd be very helpful as well. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture and learning things about Norway and seeing things in Norway for the first time, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.